Now it is time, as Robert said, to meet a man who walks on fire and also teaches others how to do the same. One of his most recent students was ABC7 reporter Larry Wolby. Here's a peek inside the classroom. There's something to learn. Now, and we're going to figure it out tonight. Just sort of the rush, the experience to know you can do it. Walk up and feel the warmth. Enjoy it. Thank it. It's a loving fire tonight. Oh, fire walk is life. Fire walk is a, uh, is a transformation. The fire walk is a metaphor for how we live our life. Um, anybody can walk this fire. Uh, anybody can do anything they want to do. But a lot of people give up when they feel resistance or they feel uncomfortableness or they feel fear. <laughs> I'm scared, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it, though, man. And you're gonna go one, two, three, you're on, five, six, seven, eight, you're off. Ma Deva Shambo, yeah! Ma Deva Shambo. Didn't burn. <laughs> yeah, I felt real good. <laughs> A little rush, man. Shiva, 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 Shiva. The feeling I have is a total quietness. Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. And total confidence and knowing that I'm going to be safe and not get burned as I go through the fire. And then when I step off, I win. I've won. I think it, I think it kind of gives you a, a sense that you can do more things in your life, and and that those are that those are tasks, your everyday tasks, everything from, from your work to dealing with friends to dealing with society to getting things done. These orange coals here put off 12 to 1400 degrees heat. This is not a theory that anybody can just walk fire. We've done a humanly impossible thing here tonight. And, and people can try to debunk it all they want to. If you're afraid of fire, you will get burnt. If you're not, you don't have to. Wow. That's all she wrote. OK, is it a trick? I don't think it's a trick. I'm going to tell you from my own personal experience. I didn't script anything tonight. I'm out here to talk about my personal experience. I don't think it's a trick at all. I think I walked on 1,200 degree coals. Uh, can I tell you that the point of contact was so quick that it would be tough to get severely burned? I think so. However, we did see some photos of people who did get severely burned before uh, we actually went out and walked on uh, fire. I will tell you, I went three times. You saw two times mm -hmm. there. I went three times, and I did suffer one minor burn. Larry, you were there as a reporter, but what was going through your mind when you were walking through that? Was it the reporter I, or was it Larry? No, it was Larry Wolpe. I think what you do when you do something like that, and we did all sorts of other things, if we can get to some video that I have quickly here of a few other things that we did earlier on actually in the evening. Now, this was from the, this afternoon's noon program. We walked on broken glass. That was one of the things. And we also had a chance to uh, take a long piece of rebar. Of course, you guys would know that from uh, construction and put it on our trachea and use the energy between us to literally bend it into the shape of a horseshoe. And I can tell you, not everybody can do it. There were some people who had trouble doing it. You mm -hmm. asked what was going through my mind. I was a little bit nervous. I didn't have to do it as a reporter. I think you made a choice. I think one of the things that I found myself doing was saying, well, well look at this. I, you know, here I am. I've pushed my personal limits probably exactly. to the umpteenth degree. And look at what you're capable of doing. I think we're almost programmed to think that I can't do that. I can't do is that. Is that what you get out of it? You get some self-confidence? What do you get out of this? I'd say inner self-confidence. It's not that egomaniacal thing that we might all have. Uh, if you are interested in doing it, though, I should give out a quick phone number here, 505-523-7851. Also, there's a website address there uh, as well. And I'd say it's, it's generally self-confidence and knowing, hey, look at that. I mean, if nothing else, I can bend a rebar, right? Okay. Will you do it again? I think I might. Okay, okay. thanks. Bye.